Hello, this is Brian Mounts. I run TopOffMcCoffee.com. Today I want to talk to you about the Keurig uh, My K Cup. There are two versions of them. They are both labeled as Universal Fit, but they're not Universal Fit, as I've talked about on this channel before. There's the old design, which fits basically everything except for the Keurig K Supreme and the Keurig K Supreme Plus. Oops, that's a bad labeling technique to call it universal when it won't go on everything. So, Keurig came out with the new design of the Universal My K Cup, and yes, it does fit into all of the coffee makers. Well, every Keurig coffee maker that I've tried, it will fit into, but here's the thing. It will fit, but I don't think it works very good in the mall. So that's what I want to talk to you about today. As I have demonstrated in prior videos, please go down to the description below uh, to see links to those videos. There are two different Universal My K Cups. This is the new design, and this is the old design. Now the old design will fit into virtually every machine because of the way it's designed and because it's got a single hole. But that's the reason that it won't fit on the Keurig K Supreme or the K Supreme Plus because it needs five holes. That's why they came out with this new design. So this will, let's see where it is, this will fit up there. Those little red gaskets will open up when you close it down and water will flow through all five holes. But here's the thing, this universal fit will also fit in all the old styles because it's got the single hole in the middle. Now the red gaskets that you see in there seal the extra four holes so you don't get grind coming up and out. Now here is my problem with this. So if you are looking to buy a My K Cup, Universal K Cup thing, and you want to buy the new design, this one right here, and you want to use it in a slightly older machine with a single needle, the red gasket becomes a problem. All right, this is a weird setup here. If you take this apart, you take that off, then you've got this little cap, this is a seal, this is a press on. So it just, there's it's like a compression fit. It just, you squeeze it on and that seals it. There's actually a tiny, tiny little gasket kind of in this little inner ring that seals it. That gasket can come out and you probably should pull it out from time to time to clean it. But the red gasket is what I wanna talk about. Now let me get this super close. Let's see, where's my camera? So that gasket right there, when you're using this, there we go. When you're using this on a single needle K-cup device, you need to make sure that these rubber gasket seals are completely on. So like that is off. This is kind of on. That's not good enough. If it's kind of on, and especially if all of them are only kind of on, as water is injected into the K-cup through the central hole, it will slowly come and back up and leak out of this, and it will come back out the top, and then you're gonna end up having a mess kind of up in this area, and it's gonna dribble all over the place, and you're gonna end up getting grind in your cup. So if you buy this new design, you have to periodically grab the red gasket and take the whole thing off and clean it. Like you gotta scrub this thing to get all of the coffee oils and grime off because if you don't, then it's not gonna seal well. And you're always gonna get a little bit of backflow and you're just not gonna have a clean cup of coffee. So here you go, I just tried to put it back on and it didn't, none of these went back on. That one is completely off, that one is off, that one is a little bit off. You have to really get these things on well and squeeze them in. And even as I squeeze them in, see, look at that, it popped out. So let's see, it might be user error here. You gotta line it up perfectly, each hole. There you go, see, that's better. I've done this a bunch of times and I still messed it up. 
you got to get each one in the correct hole otherwise they start popping out and then once you get them into the hole you have to really squeeze them in there so all of this to say is if you're going to use one of these new designs in a single needle unit keep this rubber gasket you know in the in the front of your mind because it has to be on there perfectly and you have to really check it all the time and you have to clean it all the time so that you don't get coffee flowing back out of these extra holes another thing that's been brought up in comments on on a handful of my videos is that if you're buying one of these things and you're going to be using it in a case supreme or a case supreme plus anything i don't know anything else that curb comes out with down the road that has that five point injection needle that you just take this whole red gasket off and I, I mean throw it away i don't know put it in your junk drawer and forget about it because you don't need it for the five holes so that is definitely an option now i've experimented with that brewing without this and it does work um, if you're putting it in the five point but then if you're ever going to take this thing over to a single point you have to find this thing in your junk drawer to get it back on so anyway what the point of this video is i don't know it's hard to say i absolutely believe you shouldn't ever buy this old design single point needle uh my k-cup for the five point systems on the k supreme or any other machine that's coming out down the road but i also don't think that you should buy this new design if you're using one of the older machines if you're using one of the older machines this little red gasket is supposed to make it possible to be universal fit and it just doesn't work very well when you use it on one of those now let me demonstrate here i am with my trusty scoop i only use this with the curd my k cup i don't use it for anything else as i said in previous videos also the my k cup gives you the ability to get more coffee grind into the k cup compartment of your k cup coffee maker you can get about 18 to 19 grams of coffee in this little thing as opposed to a regular k cup which has less there's another problem with that too though if you fill this thing all the way up to the max line and get 18, 19 grams in there, like I just did, and you don't get that rubber gasket seal on there perfectly, then it's even more likely for the water to back up and come out, leak out of these extra holes when you're using this on the single point system. It's less likely to happen if you only if you don't fill it to the max line and it's also less likely to happen if you use a uh, medium coarse grind instead of say a medium or even a medium fine all right here i am with the new design i have all four of the rubber gasket sealing holes covered except for the two on the left are partially uncovered something that is very easy to accidentally overlook I'm going to stick that in to my K Duo Plus. This is the. Uh, I'm going to pull this thing out. I always forget to pull this out. I'm going to stick this into my K Duo Plus. This is one of the single point needles. Virtually every Keurig has a single point. And we're going to close that up. And I am going to do a regular eight ounce brew this is something that lots of people do it's not what i suggest but it's a little bit of a faster flow i should probably put a cup there shouldn't i and now we'll speed it up All right, now with that done, we can look in here 
And we can see easily that this coffee is slightly cloudier than a normal black coffee is. Now let's open this up and take a look. Look at that. Did I call that or what? Now I don't want to turn you off of using Keurig My K-Cups or other reusable K-Cups. They, they, they actually give you better coffee if they're done right. They're more environmentally friendly. Uh, there's lots of good things about them. The problem is with Keurig introducing this five point system, it's really kind of muddied the water. <laughs> kind of muddied the water in which universal fit my K cup you should buy. If you have a single point system, stay away from the new design. Just stay away from it. There's no reason to buy it you're more likely to have problems like I just showed you right there if you buy the, uh, um, the new design and use it with the old machines. If you buy the new K Supreme or any other coffee maker that comes out with the five point injection needles, then you have to buy the new design. So I hope Keurig knows this is a problem and I hope they don't discontinue the old design because that would be a shame. Um, this is kind of just a warning video for you. Uh, lots of you guys are probably picking up the K-Supreme or other uh, older units that, you know, the older good units that are still out there using the single point needle. If you're buying those things and you're looking to get a My K-Cup, keep this in mind, get the correct one. I'll throw a couple links to uh, the two different versions of the My K-Cup down below. And uh, I don't know, so there'll probably be some, uh, some links to some of the other videos in this My Cake Up series here on the channel. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped. Please hit the subscribe button and I will see you in another video.